Hey, good morning, everybody. Welcome to ShortSellPowerHour.com. That's Fred, Fred Weaver, Weaver flopping down on the couch. I'm Kevin Kaufman. We're Group 4610, Arizona's, Arizona's premier short sell team. And no, I'm not trying to touch your chest. Thanks, buddy. I don't like you touching me at all, actually. No problem. So, yeah. That was awkward. Have we ever shared with our viewers that you like often play footsies with me, uh, but underneath the camera shot? I don't play footsies with you. Okay, or well, you sometimes touch my foot, and it's very uncomfortable. And like, if they ever see me squirm, it's probably why. I don't ever recall playing footsies. Well, hey, today is um, forgettable or unforgettable Friday, and you're watching ShortSellPowerHour.com with Group Forty Six Ten. And um, if that wasn't an awkward beginning to Friday's video. I don't know what is. I don't think it could be more awkward if we try. So I got a good story for you guys because I know you all love stories, or at least that's the feedback that those of you who share with us uh, yeah. give us. And I really wish more of you would comment. I wish you would too. Oh, I know a lot of you watch. I mean, I can see the comments. I get personal comments. I get emails or yeah. Facebook messages from a lot of you, but like, guys, comment below. Like, let, allow the other viewers to be able to interact with each other. You know what, Kevin? You know what's something we haven't done in a long time? What's that? We haven't given away We haven't sandals. given away anything. So you know what? Why don't we put everybody's name in a little bin? Whoever comments on today's video will be automatically entered into a drawing to win a free pair of sandals that okay. we will ship to you. Okay. That's a nice little giveaway. Let's do it. Right? Let's do it. You know, you can and choose the size. Since we finally have our new flip-flops. We have some we new flip-flops. So... Comment below today and uh, you have the opportunity to uh, be entered into a drawing for free sandals. Sure if you're watching this on ActiveRain.com, you need to go to ShortSellPowerHour.com and place your comment yeah. there. Because a lot of you, and I appreciate you, we do get a lot of comments on the Active Rain uh, blog page, but to if you want a pair of flip-flops, you're going to have to go to ShortSellPowerHour.com just, just, just to that. keep this in, uh, easier. Okay, so let's jump into the story. So we're going to talk about commission a commission dispute that I had okay. uh, just last week, in fact, Kevin. Awesome. Um, I love those. Dealing with the file that previously was being handled by Bank of America, okay. and the investor on the file was HSBC. Okay. And um, the this was an interesting file got turned down, and for like two weeks, I couldn't figure out why it was turned down, because I knew my offer was what their BPO was. Yeah. I had great closing costs, and finally came to find out that HSBC was doing a service transfer or selling their they loan. They sold their loan. Over to Condor Capital. Yeah. Um, Condor Capital is basically, I would call them an asset management company. Yeah. Um, they, they sell they REOs. They call themselves a scratch and dent lender. Scratch and dent lender. Um, they sell REOs, they buy ugly stuff, and they, they capitalize on it. Yeah. So um, they're more of an invest. They're more of an investor in this market out for profit than they were somebody that did bad loans. I don't know that they did loans. I don't know if they did any back. So the anyway, Condor Capital gets the file transferred to them on July 1st. I actually started working with them before July 1st, but they couldn't officially do anything with me until July 1st. they didn't 1st. have it in their system. And so on July 1st, um, they finally reviewed all the documents I had sent them that they asked for, and they noted that the commission on my HUD was 6%, and they asked me to reduce it to 5%. Didn't I ask and you to up it to 8 well, yeah, but I, I just went to six, Kevin. Okay. And they asked that, in fact, they wanted to make the commissions 5% of their the net sales price. And they described net sales price as purchase price minus the buyer's closing costs equals the net sales price. So it's 5% oh, of that, not the purchase price. So gotta love, gotta love I just purchase. kindly replied to them. I said, you know what, guys? I'm not willing to do that. Um, we're going to earn 6% on this file. I've been working it for a long time, and uh, you're going to pay us 6%. I know you guys like this offer. I know you like this offer because you told me it was a fantastic offer. I think actually the word he used was fantastic, am I wrong? And on top of that, though, I knew what the previous HSBC BPO was. I knew the buyer had done an appraisal already on the property within the last month or so, and I knew that their offer was what the appraisal came back at. So wow. I had no doubt as to this being a great offer. And so when Condor asked me to reduce the commissions, I just simply said no. And they wrote back and said, it's absolutely our guideline. We don't change it, blah, blah, blah. My favorite word, guideline. And I wrote back and I, and I said, well, that's not going to work. We need 6%. To which another email came back and said, well, fine. We'll just foreclose on the property and turn around and sell it. To which when I heard that, that got me a little bit... Um, irked. Irked. Now, not mad at the gentleman because he was actually very good with me the whole time. But... I, honestly, I, I knew that they were out to create a win-win situation. They were just out to make more money. Sure. And so I knew that their threat of we'll just foreclose was just that. Well, it's just a, a threat. Anytime, uh, anytime somebody says that, it's a, just a threat. A threat because um, I just wrote an email back and I said, well, I need to speak to the VP of your department or whoever calls these shots if you're not the one that makes these decisions because you're telling me that it's the guidelines. Kind of so the authority. So I took the authority, yeah. but it's a little yeah. lighter, right? And then at the end, I... I, I 
I did something that I did a long time ago with EMC, but I did it in a in a little bit of a aggressive nicer. manner with EMC. It didn't go over so well, so I did it nicer with Condor. I said, look, um, I've got you an offer, and I even had given them um, like the buyer's appraisal to say this is what the appraisal come back with. Right. I'm asking you for 6% commissions because I truly know that this is a great offer. You're not going to get better at foreclosure. And look, the bottom line is I could go and get you an offer for 15 grand, 20 grand less. I didn't throw a number. I could get you a lower offer with 5% commissions. And it would still be in your guidelines. It would meet your guidelines, but that wouldn't be a win for you or a win for me. So a win for both of us would be you get to net this amount and I get 6% commissions. That's better than 5% with a lower price. And so that is a heck of a lot nicer than what was presented to. Yeah, I was nicer about it. I really was. Yeah. I'm not mad at Condor. This isn't an episode to call them out or anything. No, I'm not mad at them. I I understand why they do what the they point do. Is that I'm that, helping agents understand though that that guideline was silly. So my guideline says yes. I can't pay you six percent. Yet I've got you a hundred percent of appraised value. I've got you hundred percent of your BPO value. And by the way, if Condor Capital bought it. I know that they bought it at a humongous discount because that's their business model. I understand what they do, and I'm not. I understand their need to make money, but understand, I got you a hundred percent offer. Yet I have done my job as an agent. I deserve to get paid six percent. And yes, I use the word deserve because I do. Like this is, this is the problem: is that we get these guidelines that don't set up win-win scenarios for the agent and for the investor. Yep. And at the end of the day, you've got to set those up. If you want to have a working relationship, you've got to be able to do that. So know that you guys, 5% doesn't work. It just, it's not fair. It does not work for people who are working hard to get these deals done. And agents out there negotiating your short sales, just because you hear it's a guideline, just because you're told this is the way it just is. Just because they tell you they're gonna take it Does not contract. mean that they will. No. And it doesn't mean it's the best thing for them. But so, you got to be willing to to take that next step. All right. So we've had a bunch of long episodes this week. Yeah, we have. You got a lot to say this week, Kevin. And I just want to that you also played footsie with me in the middle of the episode. Yeah, I, I don't want to interrupt you because you were in a you were in a thing that. there. But last piece I want to say is this, guys. Um, last I believe it was Monday was my email to them saying I'm not going to reduce the commissions or whatever. And what I did is I didn't hear back from them on that email for a couple days. But I purposefully laid off. I, I purposefully laid back for three days before sure. I emailed again to say, what's the latest on this account? Not, did you get my six, what's the latest? And I got an email back, Kevin, and wouldn't you know, it's been submitted for approval. One manager signed off on it. It's at the other manager's desk. He's gonna sign off on it, and I'll have my approval this week. Imagine that. So I'm just sharing with Despite you guys Despite guidelines, 6% commissions allowed. Yeah, so again, this is not about how to, you know, hurt the bank or blah, blah, blah. This is about negotiating for what's best between all parties and don't buy into this concept of we don't pay 6%, blah, 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 blah. You gotta push beyond that. So anyway, hope you guys have enjoyed this week's videos. I think we've had some good content. We'd love to hear from you with a comment today, specifically if you'd like to be the uh, proud owner of a new pair of Group 4610 flip flops. So come on back on Monday for a new episode and you're going to get some episodes filmed live in San Diego. I know you heard us say we'd film live in Italy. That was a lie. This Greece, is not. And we lied. Okay. We just did. Now we didn't mean to, but we didn't follow through. We're going to film in San Diego because well, it's nicer weather there and there's not a black couch and some of you would just like to see the outdoors of San Diego. So come on back next week in the following for some different episodes from San Diego. One, two, three. Short sale power, power. Short sale power. power. Crush it.